Hi everyone, let's come to question number 27 and the students who are watching this video for the very first time, please refer the description. You can also download the practice question file. This question, first of all, it is very important for examination. Essay question aksar exams mein aate hai, where you have to determine that out of the total income which the SSC has earned, how much is agriculture and how much is your business income. This question says that Ms. Komal, a resident and an ordinary resident in India, that means the SSE is a resident SSE, has derived the following types of income. So, she has earned five types of income and what is the, and what is the question demanding? It says you are required to compute the business income and agriculture income of Ms. Komal for the assessment year 1920. You have business income or income agriculture income nikalni hai. I am again again saying that this question is quite important for your examination. So let's see the first point. It says income from sale of centrifugal latex processed from rubber plants grown in Darjeeling. Aapko pata hai ki agar inki koi bhi income hoti hai which is related to rubber plantation aur yaap se ye latex produce kar rahe hai. So this Income has two part. One is your agriculture and second is your business income. So one lakh ki inki income hai. Isme se kitna agriculture or kitna business income mante hai. There is a ratio which is defined under income tax rules, which says sixty five is to thirty five. That is sixty five percent of such income is related to agriculture. आपको इसको याद करने की छोटी सी टिप दे देता हूं जो ज्यादा परसेंटेज है दिस इज रिलेटेड टू योर एग्रीकल्चर तो 65% इज एग्रीकल्चर इनकम एंड 35% इज योर नॉन एग्रीकल्चर दैट इज बिजनेस इनकम तो आप इसकी प्रेजेंटेशन बहुत अच्छे से कर सकते हैं यू कैन ड्रॉ टू कॉलम्स वन इज रिलेटेड टू योर बिजनेस वन इज योर एग्रीकल्चर और आप इसको स्प्लिट कर दीजिए लेट्स कम टू द सेकंड पॉइंट इट सेस इनकम फ्रॉम सेल ऑफ कॉफी ग्रोन एंड क्योर्ड इन याकंड तमिलनाडु Again, there is a business of coffee grown and cured. Here the percentage is, I suppose ki aapko hii percentage is yaad hai. Please yaad kar li chega, mein is video ke end mein ye percentage ka format bhi aapko de dunga, jisse aap refer kar sakte hai. For coffee grown and cured ke liye, 75% and 25% lete hai. Again, jada portion is towards agriculture. So 75% in ki income out of 2 lakh, 75%, that is 1.5 lakh will go in agriculture and the remaining 25% will go in business income. Agar yahan par hota, coffee grow, cured, grounded and roasted bhi ho jata, to uske liye percentage aapko shayad yaad hogi, 60-40 lete hai, 60 is to 40, but yahan pe sirf coffee grow and cure tha, is liye yahan par 75% and 25% lege hai. Third point says income from sale of coffee grown, cured, roasted and grounded. Is ke liye aap 60-40 le sakte hai. But ye coffee grow kaha par ho rahi hai in Colombo, that is in Sri Lanka. If you have agriculture income from outside India, I am again again saying, I am again repeating. If you have agriculture income from outside India, then it is fully taxable. It is not exempt. So, it will be taxable. So, this would be your taxable income. This is not agriculture. 100% is going to be a non-agricultural income. So, we can get business income in 5 lakh rupees. Fourth point says, income from sale of tea grown and manufactured in Shimla. Shimla is India. Tea ke liye hum log lete hai 60-40. 60 is towards agriculture. 40 is towards business income to 10 lakh ka 60 percent that is 6 lakh will become agriculture income and the last point is income from sapling and seedling grown in a nursery at Cochin basic operations were not carried out by her on land even if you are uh, doing basic operations or you are doing secondary operations secondary agriculture operations it will be also considered as an agriculture activities आप बेसिक ऑपरेशंस करें बेसिक ऑपरेशंस क्या होते हैं सॉइल uh, को फर्टाइल करना उसमें सीड ग्रो करना सब्सिक्वेंट ऑपरेशंस क्या होते हैं उसके बाद प्लांट आ जाता है उसको कटिंग हार्वेस्टिंग करना दैट इज सब्सिक्वेंट ऑपरेशंस तो वेदर द पर्सन इज डूइंग बेसिक ऑपरेशंस और द पर्सन इज डूइंग सब्सिक्वेंट ऑपरेशंस बोथ आर कवर्ड अंडर एग्रीकल्चर एक्टिविटीज एंड नर्सरी प्लांटेशन नर्सरी क्या होता है छोटे-छोटे जो आप 
फ्लार पॉट्स में या फिर उसमें छोटे छोटे गमलों में जो आप प्लांट्स लगाते हैं दैट इज नर्सरी बिजनेस तो इफ यू हैव अ नर्सरी बिजनेस दैट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट एग्रीकल्चर तो यहां पर टू लाख हंड्रेड परसेंट विल गो इन एग्रीकल्चर एंड इट इज इट विल नॉट गोइंग टू बी इन बिजनेस आप इसकी प्रेजेंटेशन इस वीडियो के एंड में देख सकते हैं प्लीज ये परसेंटेज जरूर याद करिएगा कि कितना परसेंट एग्रीकल्चर होता है और कितना नॉन एग्रीकल्चर होता है आई होप ये क्वेश्चन आप अपना जल्दी से कर लेंगे थैंक यू सो मच